Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Pabua, as it is pronounced. And hopefully we have another stack over here, because the one before this was really... It's really good. It's, it's, it's really good. So hopefully this one also will be really good. We got some stipulations. We got some crazy, crazy crud and crap and shit. Starting with Insidious Sterling, accompanied by Brian Black versus Cairo. I don't know why I said it like that. Cairo. Like like we're in the like we're in the place. Like we're in Egypt right now. We're not. I don't even know if we can go there in this game. Can we? Making his way to the ring, accompanied by the Prince, Brian Black. And representing the villagers from Australia, weighing in at 228 pounds, the Maniac. And here comes Insidious Sterling, this year's Capture the Creme winner. Now, the man who the Vigilant have recently taken under their wing, Jacob Nitro, will be in the match following this. So there's a very good chance that they could be looking to add more gold to their um, to their collection. But it's time to fight the gods rolls around. Until then, the only one they're currently holding is the International Championship around the waist of Brian Black there. And Cairo, who is our newest, uh, I think is our newest signee overall in PBW, has his work cut out for him. Poor lad. From New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Kyle O. And here comes Cairo. One of the most exciting athletes to watch. Definitely one of my favorite, like, created. Uh, definitely one of my favorite recent creations as well. I always like want him to be a bit more successful. But he's against Insidious Sterling, and that's not going to be an easy task. Here we are starting off with the first match PBW. Oh my god! Cairo almost broken in half in that corner there, but good DDT.
But still, he just has little to no regard for anyone and anything. I kind of love him for it. Hell of an outbreaker. I often forget how big Cairo is. Good leaf frog. Another one. And pops Cairo up for that punch right to the jowl. Good work there, good. A strike to the back. From Sterling. Praying and taunting Cairo. Oh, breaking the ice maybe, or... I don't really know what was happening there. Could have been a claw to the ice, something done to the face. I have a Cairo right now standing tall. That's the pin. Just a wonk out. He, he probably is going to die. I know we'll mourn his family. Oh my Christ, what a neck breaker. Claro. Good reverse STR there. Spinning rainbows there from Sterling as well. Cairo opening with the strikes though. And eats another punch. Well, that knee. One. Two. Cairo somehow kicked out. And just eating Cairo. This is a murder. This this is an actual murder on stream. I shouldn't be showing this. Good catch from Sterling. Oh! Cairo showing some fight though. Showing a bit of fire. And here comes the genocide driver. That could be enough. One, two, three. Well, we all knew that was going to happen. Poor Cairo. That man had a family. It, it is called the Suicide Driver, but I just think Genocide sounds a bit cooler. So I've always called it that. I know the actual name, I just like put a, I put a different spin on it. Also, that, that's a great quote to take out of context. I think Genocide is a bit cooler. And Sterling, standing tall and looking fucking scary. Gets himself that big W. He is three spoopy five me. I think some of the impact is taken out there because you can't hear like in-game music through the uh, stream screen. But he's got like the first generic music you have, so he's like his theme music is technically like very upbeat. Well, the the victory music is the intro music is like the AOP theme song, which is not very upbeat and is actually quite chilling. 
Anyway, thing, uh, speaking of beating things, um, I want to beat up Alex Clark. Now, um, Alex Clark versus Matt Ramrez versus Hiromu Tomagoya versus Jacob Nitro. And the winners will take on the Lancers next week, I believe it was. I mean, we all do. No one likes Alex Clark. Yeah, I think the winners... The winners tag to will take on the Lancers next week. There we go. And it's one fall to a finish, but I did make it fall to count anywhere as well to keep things a bit interesting. Making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 203 pounds, Alex Clark. Here comes Alok, representing the Kingsmen, specifically in the more men side than the women side. He is, he is Alok and he is a bastard. <laughs> Still out here to uh, to deliver some some good old violence. He only needs one fall to finish. But so does everyone else in this match, so uh Pardon me. Why do you keep grading my burps? It's not grading, it's more like a point system. If it were grading, that would be like F to A. But, you know, you can't really get a, a 6.9 and, and that sort of stuff. Which is the true goal, as we all know. It might be a lifetime until that comes. And his opponents, first, from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 225 pounds, Daddy Luscious Matthew Ramirez. There comes. Daddy Luscious Baby! Matthew Ramirez representing the team, the taggy team of Pretty Perfect. Uh, who originally lost a member in Jay Hunty, but it's okay. I think Matthew and uh, Pete Price will be fine on their own. Much as I like Jay. Allentown, Pennsylvania, 
Weighing in at 220 pounds, Jacob. Here comes Jakob Nitroff, known by his stage name of Jacob Nitro. I really should accept an Anarchy Inc. logo because he's not part of Anarchy Inc. in my fed. <laughs> he's part of a different fucking... He's part of a completely different um, faction. He, he, that, yeah, that's his, that's his name. It's just, he is Anarchy Inc. He's not Jacob Nitro anymore. He's changed, man. And from Shanghai, China, weighing in at 195 pounds, the Beast. And representing the Shaolin something. Disciples, Hiromu Tamagoya. I do not have Edwards. And I'm sort of fine with the fact that I don't have Edwards. I like him, I just, I just don't want him. God, I love that chin heel theme. I like how the entire goal of like changing Shin's theme was, oh, we're gonna make it so people can't sing along to it anymore. Then they gave it lyrics. Like, d do you not see where that went wrong, WWE? Anyway. Jacob focused on Alex and Matthew focused on Hiromu. Those line into the corner. And Ali at Powerbomb from Hiromu. And <laughs> Hiromu just yeeting himself right into Alex Clark. Alex and Jacob teaming up on Alok. No, they didn't, and I'm glad they didn't. Goes Jacob. Okay, that was a cool moment there with Hiromu flipping up while Clark was sitting. Uh, Matthew and Jacob on the outside, Hiromu and Alok on the inside. Good neck breaker from Hiromu. I want to know that Hiromu doesn't have any finishing names, so I don't know what to call them. Big jump suplex there from Alok. I'm going to the top rope. Oh, plan for the splash, but Hiromu got the knees up. Good move there from Hiromu. No. Now, where am I going to go to the top, try and land something like Alox attempted to earlier? Alox. Oh, went for that double foot stomp. Pin. One. Two. Alex kicks out. Matthew hits. Jacob with that brain buster to the knee. Big belly to belly suplex there. And Matthew laying in the ground apparent to Jacob as another belly to belly is landed on Alok.
There it is, the the reverse STO. One, two, three. Hiromu clean and shot quick. And it looks like the Shelling Disciples are going to challenge the Lancers next week. That, that's all Tom Magoya does. Even if he loses, he wins. It's like battle rap judging in America. Here is your winner, the Beast. Hiromu Tamagoya and Rosoda Kang will be taking on the Lancers next week. That is going to be a good match. Speaking of good matches, I hope this one is. Ramdo versus Jomini. I just really like both of these. I just like them both. So, whoever wins, I'm good with it. Making his way to the ring from Guatemala City, Guatemala, weighing in at 220 pounds, Big Ham Raymond O. Here comes Big Ham Raymond O. It really is. Like he's still technically heel. And the pig mask doesn't help, but I think it sort of adds to the hilarity. Because Raimundo continues to be a quagmire of a human being, and that's why people love him. Comes Johnny G, baby. Yeah, not just that, but a knee tattoo that I think glows, which makes it a sticker. I've got nothing against the knee tattoo, but that genuinely looks like a fucking sticker. <laughs> it's the only thing about Johnny I hate. Like, I love everything else about him, but why that tattoo? Anyway, here we go, son. Good kick from Raimundo. And good start there from Johnny. Good up punch to the face of Raymond Onia. Um, I, I swear to God, like, the Met Rushmore of Raymondia is just three Raymondos and a Derek that he made by accident. Good rolling cutter there from Johnny Gemini. I choose to believe that's a Raymondonian cannon, by the way. There, you, you can't tell me it's not. Uh. 
Anyway, Johnny in firm control. Good move there. Oh, belly to belly. F uh, from the apron back to the ring. Hell of a move there from Johnny. Looking at everyone like, did you see that? Yes, we did. It was awesome. Speaking of awesome stuff, that was a great suplex. Yeah. Went for the bell clap. Raymundo reversed it. Drop kick to the front of the knee. And looking for a clover leaf, or whatever the Raymondonian equivalent of a clover leaf is. High kick, drop to the back. <laughs> it's just a tree. <laughs> he was locked in the tree. <laughs> what what kind of tree? Like oak, birch, sycamore, or, or does that not matter? Is it just a a generic tree? Raymondo. <laughs> Getting out of there, submission attempt. Catches that move from Johnny. Oh! Good kick up from Johnny, went for the clothesline but missed, but counted that. Johnny is extra as hell in this match. The dragon screw. Elbows to the top of the old dome. Uh, pardon me. And handspring elbow from Raimundo. Looking for the Fujiwara armbar, one of his go-to moves. But I think Johnny just about reached the rope. Because, yeah, there is rope break in PBW. Johnny, oh! You don't see him attempt that too much. Although Raimundo appears to be completely fine. Bell clap into the corner. And for Raimundo, gets that kick that time. Oh my goodness, just tossing him right up into the air. Probably shattered the glasses. Went up the punch but missed. However, good back and forth between them. It's the corner. And Raimundo attempted something there but didn't get it. Tornado into Guri. Johnny probably taking a bit of a breather. He's expended a lot of energy. That was a hell of a sequence. Oh god. And the true Gemini driver. One, two, three. Johnny gets the win. I have no clue what he looks like without them, but I like to imagine he just looks normal. That match was better than it had any right to be, by the way. Like, that match was actually really good. And Johnny G, Bay Bay gets the W, Bay Bay. <laughs> hmm. 
Next up. Grey Hats versus the Kingsmen on the women side. The winners will take on TBE next week to determine the number one contenders for the PB... Uh, the PPW for the Women's Tag Team Championships. So this going to be good. I'm hoping. to the ring, Evelyn General and Yuri, you're the grinder. Here come the Grey Hats, Eva Gensu and Yuri Oku have been doing quite well as, you know, as a women's tag team. I mean, Yuri herself is a former women's tag champion alongside the other members of Black Lotus, so that's worth notes, I think. And here come Kalok, Cassidy Clock, and Kelly Kaplan. Now, these two have actually come a lot closer to that women's tag gold than. Grey Hats, that's their name. <laughs> Good start for them. <laughs> Kelly with a good start there. Yeah, it is a really good entrance. Like the Sammy and Kevin entrance is such a good, uh, interesting contrast. Pardon me. That was a pathetic burp. Went for the full stretch there, but even rolled off. And good double shin breaker there. Yeah, I agree. That felt like a 3 out of 10 burp. Anyway, first tag goes to Grey Hats, who are going for a... Ooh! Dropkick reverse STO. Good spine buster there from Cali. Good 
Backbreaker. And Cassidy is here as well. Good catch of the leg there. Good catch from Yuri into that clothesline. Good arm of a stretch, but Cali, uh, Cassidy, excuse me. Was able to get over it, and Yuri with a good snap. Uh, good, good. Good attack on the neck. Good low angle AA as well. Or lowercase AA as Aldo calls it. And it's great when he does that. Casty knocks the outside. Yuri on the top. Is Kali going to get involved and throw her off? And she didn't. Oh my goodness. That punch landed mostly clean. I think you, uh, Yuri might have crashed and burned. Three. And there is a 20 count on the outside, at least I hope I put it that way. Oh my goodness. Cassie was dropped a bounce first on the apron. We're at the count of 10, we're halfway through. And Yuri gets this match back in the ring. Cassidy immediately rolls into that attack. I don't know what the hell happened to uh, Callie there. Still Yuri. Oh! Interesting modification on the moonsault there. I thought she was going to go for the Yuri out. One. Just a one. Elbow to the back. And... Ooh, good neck breaker. They're looking for a bow and arrow stretch on... Quite possibly the thickest woman in this match. Line. Kelly Forster all outside. Oh, crossbody! Immediately. You heard me. I know what I said, I'm standing by it. Anyway, Yuri York looking for a Yuri York minute, and will that be enough? One, two, no! Kelly kicked out even though he got involved. And the Kaplan mutilation is in.
Gary managed to escape it. Big Sag. Ooh. Anyway, the the Kingsman or the Kingswoman. Kingswoman uh, with Stampede. Two. Ava breaks the pin up. Clothesline from Cassidy and another one from Cassidy and a dropkick from Cassidy. Uh. That's better. First STO, pin. Two, Cali breaks it up. Although suffers. Six point out of ten, you bastard. And a Euro York minute. Into the pin. One, two, oh no! Cassidy kicks out. And another one. Will that be enough to get the win? One, two, three. The Grey Hats get the victory. Sag about this, but that was a really good match. Solid back and forth stuff. Pretty good win there for the Grey Hats. We've got two more matches to go. It's been a very quick show. Next up, Valencia, the winner of this year's Golden Power Tournament versus Scout McKenzie. There we go, that's better. Um, I probably am, yeah. I, I, well, I'd say watch NXT. I'm going to watch, like, the highlights on YouTube and see what happens. I'm still catching up on Taker. It was, like, last weekend was Orlando. And watching Orlando was probably the only good thing about that Sunday because, um, obviously, like, you probably saw this in help and support on, in CWL Discord, but I had a bit of a breakdown at my niece's birthday party, so I had to leave early. But I got to watch TakeOver Orlando, so, silver lining? Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Rose! I know that, yeah. I'm interested to see how they're going to play it out. Like, obviously because there's going to be a new NXT champion as well because Joe got injured, so I have I have no clue what's going to go down. I just hope that they give it the respect it deserves after like everything Triple H did to put that brand on the map. Anyway, I should probably start calling this. Valencia, the winner of this year's Golden Path Tournament, former women's champion in BBW, former tag champion 
as well. So, got quite a bit going for her. Anyway, Valencia here with a very long entrance. I just ran out of shit to say, so I just let it play out. comes Big Scout. Big Woman Scout, man. Good old Scooter McKenzie. She's always a favourite of mine, but I always feel like she should be more successful in my fight. I don't think she's ever won a women's championship. And you'd think she would have by now, but she hasn't. Anyway, Bizarrely lost to Olivia Mistral last week. Yeah, I know. Imagine... Imagine being in my fight. I wouldn't know. It's not like I have three wrestlers in it on my own or anything. Scout starting with a hell of a series of strikes, but Valencia catches one. She proved that she's actually alive, thank you. Valencia taking Scout on the ground. For some ground and pound. Grounding and the pounding. Thank you. Looking for a pen. A bit early for it. Good drop kick. Good shot right to the inside of the leg. Oh, good counter Rana from Scout though. Inside of the elbow. Scout looking pretty strong right now, as she often do.
We are now taking it to the outside. Okay, faking that sump and just sweeping a foot there right into the face. Oh, dashy. There's a good boot there from Valencia. It's back into the ring. Good counter from Scouter. Scooter pie. And oh, the cheeky Nandos. Scout looking for something on the top. Beautiful Urkarana into the pin. One. Just a one? Blanchard with the counter. Backbreaker. And the booba kick connects. One. Two. Scout kicks out. It's time for La Revolution. She gets it. Pin. One. Two. Let's get kicks out though. Good side headlock. Thank you a bit of pressure. And bashing her face in with good old elbows. Good old reliable elbows. Reliable elbows. Rocky Balbo. Look at that. Good work and from Valencia who's going to the top. Oh my goodness! Corkscrew moonsault. Let me enough. One, two. Scale kicks out though. I think that's how Olivia won the match against Scale last week, which is weird. Snap suplex. Counter from Scout. For a modification on the Fujiwara armbar.
Here is your winner, Scott McKay Z. Making his way to the ring from Owina, Japan, weighing in at 251 pounds, Yamashita. Sorry for the radio silence. Anyway, yep, Yamashita on his way to the ring. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, DWJ could get the win. I'm just really excited for this match. I think this is going to be a great main event. And, uh, oh, because I was radio silent for a bit, um, Scout got the victory over the current winner of the, well, the current winner, over the winner of this year's Golden Path Tournament. So there you go. Part of me just realized the fact that he comes out to Bret Hart's music, but he's got the Rock's entrance. I'm, I'm vibing. Vibing to it. Doopie doopie doop. Oh, yeah, Mashita, like, in his prime in CW, was fucking amazing. And his opponent, from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 204 pounds, Doctor! Here comes the big doc. The big dick doc. Dick Duck, your time is up. Here we go, I, I'd be looking forward to this one, man. Good 
push against the rope there. Oh, went for a clothesline, but Doc ducked under. Good drop kick. Almost tossed Doc right out of the ring. Big chop, big drop kick. And good drop kick there from Doc. Leapfrog and another one. Good uppercut there from Doc. Good loot, you thinks. Just one. Dog's taking good control. Northern Light Suplex. But immediately, Yama kicks out. Or well, he might have gone to the rope, I don't really know. Burping. And oh, busted him open, and the apple a day. One, two, no, yum, kids out. Tour of the islands. One, two, Doc kicks out. And, oh, went for the power bomb lung blower, but Doc entered into the pen. One, two, Fly. And oh, six thirty, the open heart surgery. One, two, Yama no kicks out. Is he going to submit though? He's bleeding, his back has been pretty badly hurt. And he does! Doc gets the W. It's probably the best match of BBW, at least. Not the best match of the night by a long shot, but it was really good.
Oyama. Good match, though. Here is your winner, Doctor. And the Doctor is in, and he gets the win. <laughs> anyway. That's another show done and dusted. Next week is the go-home show. And then not the Friday after that, but maybe a, a, a week probably after that. Because it'll take a while for me to make some new advertisers if there needs to be done. Um, yeah. Gonna be getting shit done for Defy the Gods 3. It's gonna look good. And, as always, thank you all for swinging by, especially you, Mrs. Sneakers, the only person who was talking to me in the chat, because you're a good friend and I don't like to feel lonely. <laughs> I'll, I'll be looking forward to the go-home show next week. It's going to be fucking great. As always, thank you all for watching. You're awesome. Have a good night.